So we're going to get started in just a minute. What's up, Sylvian, Garen, Michael? Yeah, I did get lazy. These are fake glasses. I just wear them during my talks because that's, people don't recognize me sometimes. They'll be like, who is this person? But yeah, I usually, I usually don't wear them. Hey, Todd, big fan since 2017. What's up, Rafael, Natasha, Melvin, Michael, Isaiah, Rosario, Antoine, Elias, iPhone, Loy. Um, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen, and I'm actually going to build a presentation right in front of you guys. Ryan said, Ty, your content changed my life. Sebastian said, Ty, greetings from Germany. Melvin, let's make money 2020. Okay. Um, let me do one thing here. I'm going to share my screen. Da, da. Give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. And I wanna just, you should see a PowerPoint. So I'm gonna call this PAA. You're really the first person in the world to hear this. So I hope you'll get a lot of value. So let's just start of like where we are right now in the world, you know? Without a doubt, these are troubled times. No matter where you live in the world, and even if this coronavirus passes over, um, we were due for a recession. Recessions in history, there's been 47 recessions in the United States, okay? 47. So this is not just, not just about one-time events, okay? So this is not just about the corona, but obviously this is probably on your mind. The U.S. has had 47 recessions since its founding. The first one started not long after the Revolutionary War. In fact, it was a few years after the Revolutionary War, we went into recession. And in the 1800s, it would happen often, like every three, four years, there'd be a recession. Uh, in the early 1900s, it began to stretch out. There was four or five years between recessions. And in 19, I think it was 1913, the Federal Reserve was formed. The government began playing with things and trying to stop recessions. And they couldn't stop it. We still have recessions. Now they're on average every five to 10 years. My mentor used to say eight to 12 years, so roughly like that. And so you're going to have to learn to deal with this in your lifetime. This coronavirus stuff goes away. There's going to be something else. And so you got it. You have to be prepared at all times. And I've been talking about this for years. And when people talk about being prepared, they have a lot of different um, ideas of what that means. Some people think that means stocking up on food, toilet paper, and that's fine. That is fine for emergency situations. But what about being prepared with your income? And if you look back through these 47 recessions in U.S. history, most people get screwed. The last recession was 2008. Six million people lost their homes. People went, became homeless. People were foreclosed on. People were screwed over, right? And so the average person gets screwed over. And if we diagnose this, okay, why, what happens? And it's pretty simple. It is when you have one source of income, you're very vulnerable. It'd be like if you only had one source of water. If you look at the United States and other countries do, the reason it's hard for the United States to run out of water is we literally have millions of sources of water, whether it be from mountain glaciers, from rainfall, from rivers, from underground springs, from aqueducts. 
it, it makes you robust. And, but when it's funny how people go to school, they get a major, which is like one thing they get really good at and they go work for a job and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not saying there shouldn't be people who focus because you do want to focus. But for me, I'm never, ever, I made a vow to myself. I'm never going to have one source of income. I don't want to be vulnerable. I want to be prepared. Now, over the last five years, I've been presenting to people different ideas on how they could create an extra stream of income, part-time or full-time. Some people want to quit their job. Some people don't. Some people have a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad spouse. One person goes to work. The other person stays home. They can become a second source of income. Especially now, it's important. You got two people living together. Make sure both people have a job. Even if one's taking care of the kids, there's still a few hours unless you got brand new newborns. You know, these are the laws of the jungle. And they're not the greatest laws. I wish they weren't this way. But you're going to have to do it. If not, there's 47 more recessions coming. You know what I'm saying? So, um, hold on one second here. Okay. So over the, so ideas, what can you do right now? What could you do this week, this month, this year to start to diversify your income? And I've, it, there's been lots of ideas that I've presented hundreds of thousands of people have taken me up on those ideas and started businesses. I, I, my online programs, I'm pretty sure, I don't think there's anybody even close to as many people who have purchased the training that I've done. And I've done, you know, SMMA, social media marketing agency. Um, I show people how to do e-com, real estate. Okay, I show people how to do um, uh, what's called an e-com agency. It's different than, show people how to do Airbnb and how to rent out places that you don't even own. And those are just a few ideas that, that we've shared with people um, over these years. Another one is called DSMC, how to start a marketing consultancy where you get paid for ideas, okay? So these are here are just six ideas that I've shared. Well, I've got a, something new because each idea that I have appeals to some people's skill set, doesn't appeal to others. But let me share with you a very simple business that will work, in my opinion, because I do it. So just to be clear, this is not a theoretical thing. I'm not a college professor that's just going, well, maybe this will work. Like, this works for me every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year right now. And it's working through these troubled times that we're in right now. Okay? So what I call it is a PAA, okay? And I'm gonna explain more what that means, but let me give you a little background, okay? Just in case you don't know. So for me, I grew up, you know, mom, single mom. My dad was in prison when I was born. He was at a prison called Terminal Island in Long Beach, California. And um, so I did not grow up around people who were entrepreneurs or business owners. I mean, my dad was kind of an entrepreneur. That's when it landed him in prison, but he wasn't a legal entrepreneur, right? He was selling drugs and all kinds of stuff. So um, I didn't have experience to draw on. So when I was 18 years old, I decided not to go to, high, to college. I graduated high school and I got offered an apprenticeship from a real life entrepreneur, a guy named Joel Salatin. And I had the choice, go to college or go learn from this guy. My stepdad, we didn't always get along growing up, but one thing he told me, he said, you can always go back to college later. You might not get this opportunity. So I went at age 19 and I did a, it was a almost two year, two year apprenticeship where I lived on this guy. He was a farmer, but he was also an entrepreneur. He sold like organic food, grass fed beef all around the world. He had a at that time, I think it was a million dollar ish business. I don't remember the numbers, but he was very successful. And I began to learn 
from a person who was actually doing it, not a college professor who was being paid a salary to teach other people how to do it. This is somebody who didn't get a salary. He had to go out every single day and make his own money. And so to this day, you know, going back to when I was 19, I keep that basic philosophy in life. I like to learn business from people who have done it. And now I'm at a stage where I do it myself and I share with people like, yo, here's what's working, here's what's not working. I can tell you a lot of stuff that's not working right now, by the way. Before I get into this PA, let me just say, you know, what's not working? Because it's important to know if you want to diversify your income, I see a lot of people saying a lot of things. And through troubled times, it becomes harder to make things work. Look at the current environment right now. Not everybody's hiring, number one. It's going to be hard to get a job right now, especially at, as if times get tougher, recession comes even deeper. First thing people do is freeze hiring. I have a friend who has an IT company. He does provides computer programmers for businesses. One of his customers, guess who it is? Carnival Cruise Line. That's bad for business. His income has gone zoo down. So I will tell you, when you rely on only one customer, you're also in trouble. So businesses that don't have a lot of customers, that don't have variety of customers. So there's a lot of people out there that just the second this government shutdown comes or businesses shut down or Carnival Cruise Line shuts down, they lose everything. And so you got to be really careful. You're not starting a business that's relying on a very narrow segment of the population. That's a great way to go broke too. Um, for me, I have customers. Okay. I've tried to build business. I haven't done everything perfectly by any means, but I built businesses, you know, the antidote or the solution is like, I've built businesses in, that have sales with sales in 190 countries, all age groups, okay? All price points. So what doesn't work, sorry, am I misspelling there? What doesn't work is the opposite of this. So if you are only selling into one country, you're more vulnerable. If you're focused on one target age group, for example, I last month, if you saw the news, Forever 21, the big clothing line was for sale. And I was one of the people trying to buy it. It ended up, I was the second highest person there trying to buy it. The highest bidder was a big multi-billion dollar company called Simon Properties. They bid hundreds of millions of dollars. The news said 81 million, but that's not true. It's not the real price. Reporters are often idiots. So in that case, one of their vulnerabilities is Forever 21, almost all their clients, customers, was a very narrow base of customers between, let's say, 16 and 26, most of Forever 21's customers. So guess what? The guy had become a multi-billionaire from the brand, but when that age group started shopping at different, in different ways, guess what happened? You know, you go broke. You go from billionaire to broke. That's what happened with the founders of Forever 21. So what doesn't work, like I said, is only one country, only one age, only one price point. So another company that's getting killed right now, for example, luxury brands. Imagine right now, Louis Vuitton. So Louis Vuitton, number one, they sell luxury stuff, very high price point. That does well when there's not a recession. When people have lots of money, they buy Louis Vuitton. What do you think the first thing people are going to stop buying? Louis Vuitton. Number two, they were focusing on China as the source of their growth. Only one country. Do you think that that's going well for them right now? You think a lot of people in China are going shopping? These towns are ghost towns. And so you can see that this is a business that's very, very vulnerable. And if you start looking at, you know, the stock price of 
Carnival Cruise Lines is another one. They rely on older people. Most young people don't go on cruises. Okay, Carnival Cruise Line is all old people. You think it's a good time right now for old people to be getting on cruises? No. So guess what happens? If you look at their stock chart here in the last six months, their stock was $51 in January. Okay, and what's it at today? $17. It's insanity. At its peak, it was uh, looks like around $64, $65. So if you look at the market cap, today the market cap is $12 billion. It used to be triple that. You know, this is a company that used to be worth $35, $40 billion evaporates overnight. Now, you're probably not going to build a company as big as Carnival Cruise, but I'm just giving you an example of what not to do right now. So for me, as I'm building businesses or buying businesses, you know, what I try to do is basically the opposite of all things you know, multi-country. And I want you to do the same. All age groups. I have people, if you look even on this Zoom call right now, I see people who are in the, clearly in their 60s, and I see people who are clearly in their, you know, teens. There's men, women. There's U.S., Canada, Europe. And that's a safer way for you to build your future. Now, let's talk about a specific new business test group that I'm launching, and I'm launching it today. I gotta go here in a little bit. I'm actually headed to my farms to kind of hunker down a little bit. Uh, let me answer any questions. I see there's all these chat questions, so let me pop open. Where is the damn chat? Why do I not see it? <laughs> Give me a second. If I can grab it. Bar is not holding right now. Zoom, by the way, is going to, okay, here we go. Here's some questions. What do I think about water, waste operation trades? That's what I'm studying. What can we do to create a new source of income? How do you get to those bids for those businesses? Yeah, I'm bidding on big companies. That's harder for you guys to do. For now, your better chance is to start a home-based business now, okay? Stock picks, be careful with the stock market right now. Be very careful with the stock market, you know? Um, okay. I think everybody has audio. So I just got the e-com course not too long ago. It's good stuff. Can't wait to get started. Okay. Let's, let, let's go to this, what I was talking about as a solution. So going back to my story, like, I didn't know any of this stuff. I had one source of income. I remember having a job at Office America. It doesn't even exist anymore. It went bankrupt. It was like Staples. And I hated it. I remember like looking at my watch all the time and just going, and it was like, looked at my watch and there was still seven and a half hours of an eight hour shift. And then I'd look at it, and set, I would look at it every five minutes. I hated that job. And at that point I was like, I'm gonna figure out a way. I'd rather be homeless than have a job that just grinds my brain into the dirt and so I've, I've that's what I've done I've spent my life you know it's not always been easy it's been challenging at times but I'm all about building my own income and like I said things can be rough but they're not I look at my friends that chose a different path and I wouldn't want to be them you know it's a good way to know if you're on the right track ask yourself would you want to be them and at this point of my life I'm like no I would not, and it's not that I look down on them. It's just like, I'm like, damn, they're not happy. So let's talk about this new test group and why I'm launching it um, and how it solves a lot of these problems, okay? So this test group that I'm launching today, okay? Never talked about it before for this PAA program. So PAA stands for Profit acceleration agency now here's how to think about this okay um um 
right now, businesses are in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Restaurants, people aren't going to restaurants right now. Malls are in trouble. Everybody's in trouble right now. Okay? And so there's a niche for you right now. There's a way for you to hop on and get businesses paying you. So how do you get businesses paying you 1000 to $10,000 a month, okay? To help them accelerate profit. And right now they're going to be begging for this. Really. There's there's going to be millions of businesses that are this close to bankruptcy in the next two to six months. There already are right now, millions, just in the United States. We know this is bad in Europe, we know this is bad in Australia, we know this is bad everywhere. Italy shutting down, It's not, France has already shut down most of its businesses, Spain the same way. But they're not shutting down, just notice, not shutting down online, okay? They are not shutting down online at all. So, guess what? That's where you come in. I'm going to train you how to go to these businesses, charge them a fee, plus take a percentage, okay? And what you're gonna do is two things. But the simplest is you're gonna use the phone. Let me just make this large caps, the phone. The phone right now is the one thing that's not going to get shut down. If people quarantine, people are going to still have the phone. If you look at American Airlines, I sent an email. I guess I'm an American Airlines frequent flyer or something. I got an email from American Airlines saying, our phone lines are inundated. So you can't go to an airport in a lot of places now, but they're still taking phone calls. So what you're going to do, and I'm gonna draw this out to kind of make this simpler, okay, is you're gonna find businesses. E-commerce is still good. Still good. The world's not shutting down online, okay? And you're gonna use an old school tactic, which is the phone, to make their, them more money. And then guess what? They're gonna split that money with you. Does that make sense? So, sorry, somebody's pinging me. Let me give you an example. Let's just make up a store. Um, I'll even take some chats here. What's a business around you? Maybe a parent owns it, an uncle owns it, a friend owns it. Let's, let's take some, uh, let's take some chats here. What's a business that we could get? Just anything. It could be a restaurant. It could be a um, dry cleaner. It could be a business consultancy. That's actually, it could be a dentist. It could be a doctor. It could be a realtor. It could be a uh, somebody who owns a mall. Someone owns a clothing brand. What's a business that some of you have? And I'm going to show you how... You can use a PAA to increase their income. And by doing that, you get a fee. And you only need like five businesses that you do this for. And you can be making five to $10,000 a month. And I'm going to show you a little technique that I like where you don't actually have to do the phone calls. So let me just, let me give you an example. I'll give you a real life example. Right now, I'm launching a supplement company. Okay. So let's just use this as an example. Supplement company. So we run ads online. You probably see ads all the time. So you got one of you could actually be a profit accelerator agency for my new supplement company. It's called 67 Supplements, believe it or not. It's like 67 Steps. So it's kind of the brand. Okay. So that's the name of it. So right now I'm running ads online and people buy the product. So let's say they bought a 
bottle of, I don't know, pre-workout, okay? So they buy that for 25 bucks. So let's say they buy a bottle of pre-workout for $25. Now, me as a business owner, I might have spent $20 on ads. So my profit is low. Profit is 25 bucks minus 20 in costs. That's not even counting my other costs, but let's just call it my marketing and the cost of the supplement, okay? So my profit is five bucks. It's not great. It's not great. Five bucks? I'm gonna have to sell thousands of bottles a day to just pay the bills. So what I need is one of you guys who have your own business, your own PAA to come in and say, hey Ty, every single person who buys from you, within five minutes, they'll get a phone call from us or the same day or within 24 hours. And we'll call them and we'll say, hey, just doing an order confirmation, making sure that you ordered, you know, one bottle pre-workout, making sure your address is 333 Acme Street in Michigan. And oh, by the way, I don't know if you saw this on the website, but if you bought the pre-workout supplements, did you consider getting the post-workout supplements? Because you have now what you use when you're about to work out, but when you're done working out, your muscles need a different supplement. And the person on the phone might be like, no, I never heard of that. And they say, look, I can get you, since you're a, a customer, I can get you a discount. I can use the card you already have on file, or we can take a new card. And I can go ahead and process an order, and I won't charge any shipping. Since you're already getting a box from us with the pre-workout vitamins, let me get you the post-workout. And let's say they say no. Okay, you call the next person. Not necessarily you, but somebody working for you calls them. And every three people you call, one says yes. Okay, and let's say you sell a bottle for another 25 bucks. So every three people, one person buys $25 more of stuff. That adds 25 divided by three calls is $8 approximately. So now this company, my company, if you were, if my company hired you to be my PAA, I would go from making $5 per order, damn it, there we go, to making five plus eight. A lot better. In fact, you more than doubled my profit. I was gonna make five, and now I made 13. Not quite triple the profits. And I'll say to you, so let's say you, one of you, has a PAA, okay? Here's somebody named uh, Jose. So Jose, I say to Jose and I go, he has his Jose Profit Acceleration Agency. So at the end of the week, Jose said, Ty, me and my sale phone team sold 100 bottles for you at 25 bucks. Okay, you pay us by the hour for the phone calls. So let's say that's a thousand bucks you charge. So I would pay you a thousand dollar check, Jose's profit acceleration for the time calling, plus I'd split a little bit of the profit. So you sold, let's say a hundred bottles at $25 a piece, that's 2,500 bucks. And I give you, I don't know, 20% of the profit, right? So 25, I write you a check for 500 more dollars. So this week, I write you a check for 1,500 bucks to your agency. Now you pay your phone salespeople and you keep the difference. That's from one customer. And if you do it right, I'll show you how to hire salespeople to do, if you don't like the thought of you, because if you're an extrovert, you might want to do the phone calls yourself. You could run this profit acceleration agency as a one person business. Or for those of you who are more ambitious, I'll show you how to advertise online. Everybody's gonna be looking for jobs right now, especially jobs they can do from home. Some of you, I, I have a friend, okay? I won't say his last. <gasps> My friend, his, name's, his actual name is Dave, so I'll use that as a pretty 
common name. He has 500 phone sales guys and women. Um, he has five call centers. All right. And him and his business partner, they have five call centers actually around the world. They have them in the US, they have them in Europe, Asia, and so on. And they specialize in medical. So for they call they do the phone calls for doctors and cosmetic surgeons and things like that. And I mean these guys print money. Many, many, many millions of dollars profit he puts in his pocket every year. Okay. Now I'm not saying you're gonna build a profit acceleration agency as big as my friend Dave, okay? You don't need to build this to 500 people, but um, you might build it to 15 people, 15. And you know the beauty of this? I'm gonna show you the beauty of this business. And this is one of the things I like about this. Okay. If you start a social media marketing agency, which I love, by the way, it still works. This, by the way, if you own a social media marketing agency, this is another business you can add to your same business. Another stream of income. You can have your social media marketing agency and you can have a phone, uh, a phone profit acceleration agency. Okay. We can call it a PPAA, a phone profit acceleration agency. So you become the phone center. Now there's other alternative ways to make money. I have a friend that I outsource my phone calls. If you call one of my businesses, it redirects to his phone center and his phone center has about 400 people and they answer the phone and I pay him. He makes money from me, my business is paying him. I outsource my phone calls because I used to try to do it in house it's a pain in the butt. So you become the phone center for businesses. And I can tell you that they pay you uh, and they will pay you. I know because I pay for it. And believe it or not, I actually do it for some of my businesses. I have a phone profit acceleration agency that I actually uh, for other businesses that I have, I actually outsourced it to a different business that I have. So my own businesses kind of cross promote each other, but that gets more complicated. Keep it simple. Right here, this phone, I promise you, if you build this thing right, and I'm going to teach you how to do it, you need to have the right software. You need to form the right kind of company. We'll talk about if you should form an LLC or an S corp or a C corp. We'll talk about if you need to be registered. In some states, you need to go through some registration. Um, I will show you how to get people. If you don't want to do the phone calls yourself, I'll show you how to hire people. So let me show you what, what you're going to get, what you will learn. So how to set up the company legally, how to hire phone agents that's what you call them under you um i will show you the software to use how to get paying clients okay to pay you um i'm going to also show you and i think this is i think the most important part is right here how to get paying clients that's the most important you can do everything else well but if you don't have paying clients, they're not going to work well. And I'm going to show you one of the things with the software. I'll show you how to not pay for it. Sometimes you don't have to pay for it. You can push the cost onto the businesses themselves, if that makes sense. So what you can do is you can basically say to them, look, to handle your business, here's the software I'm going to need. Here's the cost. And you can just pass the cost on to them. Right now, just so you know, I have like 10 different companies. If one of you had a PPAA, a phone profit acceleration agency, like, and you were good, I would hire you. I need more of these. I, it, it's a full-time job that I don't have time to do with my businesses. I'll show you how to manage the people. 
And the good thing is, show you how to do it remotely. It's so important right now. It's very, very important to do this thing from home because who knows when offices and office buildings are gonna come back to normal. So let's just, I just wanna run through kind of the numbers. So if you do it right, each client should gross, okay, 5,000 should pay you, and this is gross, pay you 5,000 a month. Okay, when you combine um, hourly pay, plus you're gonna ask them for profit share. And the profit share amount, we'll talk about in the group what to ask for. You don't wanna ask for 50% profit share usually, or 80%. You also don't wanna ask for 2% because that's too low. So we'll talk about that. but. Each client should pay you $5,000 a month gross. That's what you receive. And your expenses, you want to keep them um, at no more than $3,000. Remember, you now, if you do the work yourself, you can just, you don't even have to pay anybody. But if you build a phone center and you have people working for you around the globe, you're going to need to pay them, right? They're doing the work. You're just managing the business. So your expenses should be three thousand. So you want to, you should be netting about two thousand dollars a month. That's the goal. So you want five clients, and you're at ten G's a month, ten thousand U.S. And and that not everybody's going to do that, but some people will do a lot more than that. That's not outrageous. Five customers. I mean, if you do it right. Let's say you become, and, and I'm, there's ways to even accelerate this. I don't have time to talk about. There's so many things you can do. One thing you can do is use your social media marketing agency to run Facebook ads for the business, drive the people to a landing page where they put in their phone call, and then your, prof, your phone profit acceleration agency can call the people on behalf of the business. So let me give you an example. Here's a good example. Good example. Watch this. Um, let's just say, let's take a cosmetic dentist, okay? So if you want to get more advanced, let's say they run ads on Facebook to get leads. Well, guess what most people do? These dentists are just saying, fill out a form and we'll email you and you can come into our office. Well, that doesn't make a lot of money. People need to be pushed. Because people procrastinate, they forget about it. Not pushed in a weird way, in a, a nasty way, but people need to be reminded. So you run, they run it, but they don't call the people. And one thing is that if you call someone within five minutes of them filling out a form on their website, you get about 10 times more conversion rate. So here's where dentists do it wrong. What do they do? They have people, they have people fill out forms and then they only email them or they call them two days later. Like let's say somebody fills out a form on Saturday and they're not there and their office is closed, they don't call until Monday. By Monday, that customer might have filled out three other forms or forgot what they were doing. A lot of people browse late at night and they're looking and they're like, oh. so would you step in with your PPAA, or I sometimes I just call it PAA, the Profit Acceleration Agency, you basically go to the dentist, you say, every time somebody fills out a form, I'll use software, to instantly redirect it to one of my phone agents. Your phone agents will call them within five minutes. I, as I listen to myself talk about this, let me just tell you, this is a good damn idea. This is a good business idea. Th let me repeat, this isn't some bullshit idea that there's no chance. There's so many things I see people launch businesses and I'm just like, oh 
oh man, that's never going to work. I feel bad for you. I see it a lot with e-com, you know, e-com, you can make money in e-com, make no mistake. I make a lot of money in e-com every day. I mean, I do major e-com volume and, but it's hard to start. You know, people are like, oh, I'm just going to drop ship from China. Well, now shit's not even coming from China. Your best, let me just repeat this. Your best, safest, easiest way to start your business is to start a business that supports other businesses, an agency. If your phone agents will call this example, cosmetic dentist, all of their leads that hit their website within five minutes, and then you tell that dentist, okay, we charge by the hour, whatever, 15 bucks an hour. So if we spend one hour on the phone, my phone agents have software, they track it. They answer the phone, you know, they talk for 10 minutes here, 30 minutes here, we track it. You can give them a report. Okay, we spent 120 minutes on the phone on Saturday. That's two hours, so that's $30 charge. And you use that money, by the way, to pay your phone agents. And then you say, and we got you three reservations for this week, people coming in, three appointments to get, you know, how they have like you come into the cosmetic dentist or surgeon and they show you what they're going to do. And you say for each of these three, we get 500 bucks. And a dentist will gladly pay you good money if you're sending people, qualified people into his, his um, office because the average dentist might make, you know, $7,000 on one surgery. So if you send them 10 people, you know, and three of them convert, you just made the guy $21,000. And for you, you might charge $5,000. $5,000 goes to you. And then the guy keeps, you know, 18 grand or whatever, 17 grand, 15 grand. So it's such a, it's just a good, good concept. Now, the key thing for a PAA, just so you know, is that you got to know a couple, there's a couple pitfalls and you can try, by the way, you can just build this on your own. You don't even need to get in my test group. If you understand the software, if you understand how to get clients, some of you are natural salespeople and you're just going to take this idea and just run with it. And that's great. Not everybody, so many people started like 50,000 people or more went through my SMMA program to build. Uh, to train them how to build their own social media agency. Another like 50,000 just took my free videos and did their best. And so it's up to you. Um, for me, I like to pay to learn faster. To me, it's worth it. So if you want to get in my paid test group, you can. If not, you can just take this free. I've given you a lot of, I've given you an example exactly of an ideal customer. Cosmetic dentist is a great one. I'll tell you another great one, a great one right now. Just to give you another example, realtors, okay, realtor. So realtor, right now, mortgage rates are going down. A lot of people are gonna try to sell their home because they wanna get cash. Maybe they're, it's a recession and they have too big of a house. So they're gonna start, houses are gonna start coming up. Realtors are always hustling. So you, 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 your agency, your PAA agency answers the phone for a realtor. So easy. These realtors, same thing. They have clients calling them. By the way, you don't only have to do outbound. It's called inbound and outbound sales. Okay, so you have inbound, by the way, and I teach more on this in this program. The program's coming out this week. It's the weekend now. The program will be out this week. So those of you who want to get in the test group, this is your chance to get in. I'm going to put a link up here in a few minutes. I got to leave in a few minutes. I'm driving. But uh, so you got inbound and outbound. So you can get paid for a, re a realtor's inbound phones basically mean, you know, people call the realtor who are existing clients and the realtor doesn't want to always answer their phone nonstop. So you tell them, hey, for 15 bucks an hour or 20 bucks an hour, we'll answer the phone for you and text you or email you the messages. That way it's a nice touch. You call a realtor and you're like, hello, this is, you know, Susie's, Susie Realtor office. How can I help you? And the person's like, hey, Susie's my realtor. 
and blah, 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 like I want to blank any blank, whatever that might be. I, I need uh, to talk to them on the phone. You're like, okay, Susie's, you know, not available, but let me text her and call her right now if this is urgent. And so you're providing a service for a Susie. She doesn't have to answer her phone. And it's, you know, 15 bucks an hour. And you have those phones routed to a person, a phone agency, a phone agent who's underneath you. And outbound sales, sorry, not onbound, outbound is when somebody fills out a form and you call people to sell people into something. So for example, somebody fills out Susie Realtor, I'm interested in you, Susie, listing my house for me. They fill it out. Susie's busy, she's asleep, or she's with her kids, or with whatever she's doing. You, your PAA, picks up the phone and says, hey, my name is John. I work with uh, Susie, Susie the Realtor. I saw you just filled out our website. You're interested in us um, listing your home. Can I get a little more details? What kind of home do you have? You know, what price range are you thinking? What neighborhood it is? Blah, blah, blah. And you get all this information and you set up a appointment. You say, okay, I'm going to have Susie come by your house. What days are good? Maybe you have a shared calendar with Susie. So you're like, okay, Wednesday, she has availability at 430. Can she stop by your office? And um, so Susie says, uh, the, the customer, whoever the customer is, says, sure. And now you set an appointment for Susie. And you, as your PAA, that phone call, let's say, took 20 minutes. So you charge them by the minute. You charge Susie by the minute. And you say, for every appointment I set for you, we get 200 bucks. So now, imagine this. People working for you all around the world on their phone from home. And while you're sleeping, your phone agents that you manage are making calls for you making calls for your customer and bringing you money while you sleep. I'm not saying, by the way, you're not gonna have to do work. You're gonna have to manage the people. And we all know managing people is a little bit of a pain in the butt. But someone said, what's the difference between this and a call center? So a call, this is similar to call center, but I have so many more tricks up my sleeve that you can value add and make more money. As I said right here, you can run the ads on Facebook for them, for the cosmetic surgeon. So you can now, so a regular call center just answers the phone, but you can add other things that I'll teach you in this test group, like how to run the Facebook ads and create the funnels for the the realtor. So this is a perfect business for those of you who are in my other programs or those of you who are just starting from scratch. Either way, this one works. And a cool thing is you could do this from anywhere in the world. I recommend you try to get customers within the US to start, but you could live in Timbuktu, man. As long as you could speak English, you can sell into America. And if you can't speak English and you only speak Spanish or something, then just get customers, businesses to pay you who all their customers speak Spanish. Or if you speak Chinese, great. There's a lot of businesses in America that cater to the Chinese. So the fact that you speak Chinese, you can actually charge a premium. No matter how you do this, this is a solid business. And as I said, if you look at the numbers that are totally realistic, okay, you want to get each customer and you might have some customers that only make you a thousand gross a month. Okay. But I'm saying on average, a good customer should make you 5,000. And your expenses should be 50 to 60%, okay? Which means you're netting 40%. 40% of 5,000 is two grand. Yeah, someone said, last company I worked for was a call center and they had international clients and they're 7,000 person company. I know, what I'm trying to do is say, stop letting these big phone centers make all the money. This is the perfect business for you to do out of your house. Literally, you can do this out of your house right now when the whole world's on quarantine remember not all businesses are shut down not all businesses are shut down and even if the world shuts down it's not going to shut down for years probably most likely going to shut down for weeks or months and during that time you could have your agency up and going i'm going to tell you this businesses 
when everything gets back to normal in the next weeks, months, whatever it is, they are going to be hurting. They're going to be trying to make every extra dollar that they can. And you can do that for them. So let me, I'm going to put up, like I said, I got to go in nine minutes. I want to answer some questions. But if you want to get in the test group, okay, to get in this test group, um, I'm going to just put a link here. Let me make sure I give you the right link. Da, 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 D. Where is my link here? Okay, it's uh, good old www. You don't even have to type that anymore. Tylopez.com, and you just uh, put in PAA. Pretty easy to remember. Literally, you type in PAA. <laughs> That's it. Now, let's talk about the price. Not something that people remember. When I make these test groups, like when I made SMMA, I remember when I launched SMMA, it was, I don't know, it was October 2016, about three and a half, four years ago. And um, I remember launching it and people being like, and that was, that was a thousand bucks. Some people were like, oh man, like, ah, uh, I don't think this is worth it. This sounds like a scam. And then people started realizing it worked. And then like, it took like two years for people to realize that it worked. And by then, like the people who got in early just crushed it. And people were like, damn it, I should have gone in at the beginning. And I'm like, well, scared money don't make money, my friend. Scared money don't make money. Now you can compare this. What are your other options? By the way, for those of you saying you don't have enough money to get in, that's fine. Just start a PAA on your own. You can, I've given you as much info as I can give you in 45 minutes. Um, and you can figure it out and kind of piece it together and build it by trial and error. For those of you who want to jumpstart and get in and learn this very quickly, you know, uh, it starts this coming week. Um, you can get in the paid version. I mean, I don't know what to say. The reason, by the way, I charge money is because we, I actually put a lot of time, energy in and effort and we fly in other, I'm not going to teach all this because I'm not an expert in every single, I'm not an expert in the phone center software, for example. We use the software, but it's not my expertise. So I'm bringing in flying in people that are going to be teaching you with specific expertise. So that costs me money, you know, so that's, that's a very important thing. So you go to talibus.com slash PAA. Um, and I know some of you have no money and that's not a problem, but for those of you, just think of this people right now today are at NYU business school, New York is in New York city. They're at Stern Business School. It's $30,000 a year and takes up all your time. 120,000 to get a bachelor degree. This thing's not even 500 bucks. I don't know how to make it that much cheaper. I mean, I could charge, you know, one cent. Here's the problem with not charging any money in my life experience. Um, I've done no money programs. In fact, before the 67 steps, I had some programs where I was just like, I'll take, teach you for free. People don't take it seriously. They don't even show up like YouTube. There's thousands of YouTube videos on how to start businesses. And not many people watch them. And very rarely do I, I rarely meet somebody that's like, Ty, I watched a video on YouTube and I launched a business. No, you don't. Th number one, most of the things on YouTube that I've seen are incomplete and just somebody records one video on how to sell on Amazon or one video on how to do e-com um, or they even record 10 videos but the problem it's always only from one person's perspective if you notice in my courses I bring in like 10 different people that are doing this so it's not just me like I told you my buddy Dave he's going to teach him this and he's probably made a hundred million dollars from a PAA a hundred million bucks. 
I have two people that are going to teach actually that have done that level. So they even think they're going to teach on YouTube. They don't even have YouTube channels, man. They don't. Most people that make money don't have a lot, don't have a YouTube channel. There are a few, there are some people, but it's not that easy to get free info. I've looked, if it was so easy, everybody would be doing it, man. So if you want to get in, like get in if you don't. I mean, I don't like to convince people that much. I have the track record of training hundreds of thousands of people. I have more people that have gone through my programs than graduated in UCL. I mean, gone through UCLA in the last five years. I'm not saying I'm better than UCLA. I'm just saying we have trained hundreds of thousands of people. Not everybody gets success, but it's just like college. Not everybody who gets a college, 99% of people who get a college degree don't even use the degree unless they're like a doctor or lawyer. You think most of the people getting art history degrees go on to use that art history? How about people who get English degrees? They already speak English, by the way. That's not the, you think most people with English degrees go on to become amazing writers like Stephen King or J.K. Rowling? I don't even think J.K. Rowling has a college degree. She wrote, she made a billion dollars writing Harry Potter. I'm pretty sure she, so my point is like, what do you, here's the options you have now. Do nothing. You can listen to this and be like, ah, okay. It was good information. Awesome. Do nothing. That's what most people do, by the way. Um, option number two is you can do this for, you can just go be like, I'm not going to get in a test group. I'm going to do it on my own. Does not, I'm happy. People still call me and go, hey, Ty, I never got your pay programs, but I built success. I still love hearing those stories. It's not depressing to me or something. It's not like my main goal in life is people to only have success through my stuff. That's not how my brain thinks. Um, but the easier path, and I promise you it's easier, is to get somebody to walk you through this. If you haven't built, it's kind of like building a house. If you want to build a house for yourself, so you just go out and like grab a hammer and start building. And I'm like, have you ever built a house? And you're like, no. I'm like, that house ain't going to look very good. Learn from somebody who's been doing it for years. My phone team that works in my businesses has generated ten, tens of millions of dollars. So I've managed a phone team just like a PAA for my own businesses for uh, I don't know how many I started like over 10 years and they've gen generated I would guess like 30 to 40 million extra profit for my businesses or, or revenue I'd have to look at the exact margin let's just call it whatever 30 to 50 million dollars has been generated from the phones and so if you want to build a house, you can build it on your own the first time, or you can literally just um, get somebody who's built a ton of houses to show you how to do it. And it's insane how few people <laughs> get that. I like, I get people every day who are like, oh, you don't need books. You don't need mentors. Like you just go out and do it. And I'm like, yeah, you do it wrong for a long time and you eventually figure it out, but you waste a decade. Some people don't understand the value of time. Time's the only thing you can't get back with money, my friend. You can get everything, almost everything in this world, money will help you with, but it doesn't help with time. And so if this course can save you five, 10 years in building a profit acceleration agency, you'll thank me. And no amount of money, you know, is worth wasting five years in my life so let me answer a few kind of um common questions okay just before i wrap up all right so common question number one that i've already seen in the chat number one is um can i do this from anywhere and my answer is yes with one one exception ideally you need to speak decent English because you can hire agents under you that are fluent in English, but you need to speak. If you know no English, this is going to be tough. Or if you speak English like a caveman, this is tough. 
So my advice to you is like take a couple English courses if your English sucks. You're gonna not have a great, you're not gonna have a great experience managing American agents or building your business or getting customers if you have first grade English. So, but it doesn't matter where you live. That's the good thing. You, Cause it's on the phone. Nobody knows where the phone goes. I, I was in, um, I used to live in Scandinavia and I was in Scandinavia. I posted this, you might remember a couple years ago on my social media, there was a guy there, an American traveling around the world. And he had a similar to like a profit acceleration, acceleration agency. It was a tad bit different, but similar. He had customers. And one of his customers was like LAPD, like Los Angeles Police Department. He did their web stuff for him. And I was just talking to him and I go, like, how's traveling and running that business? He's like, oh, I've been traveling for two years. I said, does the sheriff department know that you're not even in America and you're handling their business? He goes, nope. I have a 1-800 number on my website and <laughs> they just call me and it redirects her to my cell phone while I'm in Sweden, while I'm in France, while I'm in Norway. And he was just making money, traveling the world. I think he was making not, not crazy numbers. He was making like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a month profit, just chilling all around the world using his phone. And so, yes, but he spoke good English. So that's the one thing. If you're English, you don't have to be fluent, but you have to be like on a scale of one, you have to have at least like high school level English or ninth grade, eighth, ninth grade. Um, age. As long as you can, you know, Bill Gates closed his biggest deal while he was a, a teenager on the phone. That ended up, that deal kind of dominoed into him becoming the richest man in the world for 20 years. As long as you legally can do it. Um, for example, if you're eight years old, it's going to be hard to do this because you can't open a bank account. You can't legally sign contracts without your parents. But there is an eight-year-old who built a YouTube channel last year and made $20 million. Okay, Devante says, calling people, what are you calling for? So good question. You, your agency calls on behalf of other businesses that pay you to call for them or answer the phone for them, okay? And yes, you can do it in any language because I was just saying for the program that I have, it's better to, if it's, you speak English, but yes, you can modify this into any language, Swahili if you want. Um, uh, is there lifetime access? So this is one year access, which is all you need, I mean. If you can't figure this out in a year, you might as well do something else. Okay. Um, okay. So let's talk about refund. Real simple. Real simple. It's just like the SMMA. Go through this program. If you don't get a customer within the first 90 days, okay, and you actually went through, if you don't get, oops, my keyboard. You don't get a paying customer within 90 days, you can have a full refund. Now, just to be clear, you have to have looked and gone through the materials. Some people never open the materials and are like, hey, I didn't get a customer. I'm like, you didn't even open one video. Like, let's all have a little common as a little common sense. Okay, so you gotta go through the material. It's very easy, it's simple material. You just, you can listen to it. We have audio and video version, okay? Um, so one other thing. I see a whole bunch of questions, calling people and saying, well, I answered that. We join you, provide the company to work for, lifetime access. I'm from Croatia and the company I work for has clients in the US. Yep. So Arian, you already do this. Oh, okay. So this test group, I'm gonna keep it, I'm going to keep it open 
this first test group. So with these test groups, just so you know, I launch these test groups. A lot of them I close and don't ever do another test group just because I get busy and do other things. So I'm gonna keep it up for the next 24 hours. And then this link here, this link to the first test group won't work. Will be taken down. Okay? So I, I kind of do these, um, let's see, okay. in execution, it sounds like we have to front some money to cover calling costs prior to billing. No, man, I'm gonna show you. Get people to pay you, man. Don't be afraid, businesses have damn money. People, it's funny, when I was broke, let me just end by saying this. Businesses have tons of money, okay? Most of the world, this is where you guys go wrong starting a business. You try to make your first business about selling to people individual people individuals don't have money businesses do most of the money in the world is controlled by businesses you see what i'm saying so the reason this is going to work is because it's not that hard if you to get a business owner to agree to pay you 20 25 dollars an hour to answer the phone for them What's their other choice? They're gonna to have to hire somebody. You see what I'm saying? You can even charge more. You can charge 40 bucks an hour. It depends on the niche you go into. If you go after a cosmetic surgeon, you think a cosmetic surgeon is gonna build his own phone call center? They don't wanna do that. They're doing surgery. They're gonna outsource it to you. They will outsource to you. They want to outsource. They literally wanna to outsource to you. They want, I, I have businesses that there's not, by the way, I end up always having to build my own phone team because there's not, there's not enough of them out there. This is just like SMMA. You're catching it at the beginning, man, at the beginning, at the beginning. And so, yeah, it's just, this is a damn good idea. Not all of you will see it, but some of you will. Um, Wadi, by the way, welcome to the group here, my friend. Wadi, you're in Mexico. Cool. Um, so, Wadi in Mexico, by the way, I one of my businesses, I use a call center out of Mexico. This is a great, great business to build if you're in Mexico. Really, any kind, if you can find people who speak English, there's a lot of people, believe it or not, who got deported from America who speak English. And my friend built a whole call center out of people who got deported by Trump, but they were like Americans. They had lived in America for like 15 years and they got deported. He just built a call center in Tijuana and he's killing it. Here's the thing people don't realize. Once you build up your system, you build up your management, you got your software, you it, while you sleep, those phones are ringing and you're every minute that you're answering the phone, that your team, your company's answering the phone, you are getting a check for, bam, bam. And you can charge them ahead of time. You really can. So this is a solid business, man. Solid. As good as anything I've ever launched. Uh, you can do this. Peak says, or is it Peak or Reek? Oh, Reek says you're in London. Perfect business. An English accent. Those of you in England, Australia, you can do this for American companies. One of, two of my top salespeople in my companies have English and Australian accents. People love it. You can even charge more. So you can par charge people more and just hire people out of Australia. It is a solid business. Like if I my brother was asking me, I have six brothers and they're like, what's a good business to start? I was like, this one right here is gonna do well will do very well in the coming recession. It will do very well. A lot of businesses aren't gonna do well. Stuart says there's large call centers in South Africa. Exactly, South Africa is a great thing. South Africa has a great accent. One's from Brownsville, there are two call centers there. Hey, don't let those big call centers make all the money. Some of those call centers make five million bucks a month. 
10 million bucks a month. If you just take 10% of that, think how well you'll be doing. Fabian said, does it work for Germany? Oh, yeah. Any country. I can't think of a country this won't work for, except for countries that are very poor. That, you know, like, I've been to some parts of the world, very poor countries, the business owners there don't have much money. But any, you're any place, for the most part, Western world, I don't know how to do this for China. That's it's, I don't know Asia really well, but I mean, this works for, if you take the United States, and by the way, this will work in South America, crazy amount in South America too. So it's, uh, it's a good damn business. It is good. I'll be training starting this week. So when you get in today, um, we'll be releasing the first content um, here coming up this week. So you got 24 hours to get in. You want to be in this first test group? Let's go. This is the deciding group. And so, um, yeah, I got to go here. But any last questions? I'll take two or three more minutes. Todd, if you could summarize the business in one sentence. Yep. You get business owners to pay you one to $10,000 a month to handle their phone. That's it. Summary, simplest summary ever. You get business owners to pay you 1,000 to 10,000 US a month to manage their phones, okay? Couldn't get on till late. Thank you, Todd. The value delivery is 45 minutes. I mean it. I decided to watch this over Netflix. I'm blown away. Good. Well, it's a good choice, man. Netflix is good, but limit that stuff. You mentioned there's software we would use. Yeah, there's software you can use to start managing if you build a bigger agency. You can start out just using your cell phone and you answering the phone for business. If that's a simple way to get started. You want to start making 20, 30, 40 bucks an hour? Boom. Just you handle the phone. If you can make 40 bucks an hour, that's 80,000 bucks a year. You could do it. Or you and your wife, or you and your husband. And then you can grow. You don't even need software for that. Best industries to look at. Like I said, I would look at realtors. I would look at financial planners, um, insurance agents. I would go after landscaping companies, roofing companies, construction companies. Cosmetic surgeons, dentists are amazing. Um, any kind of, um, any high ticket revenue business. So a bit, oh, e-com companies. I'll be calling e-com companies that are selling clothing. They're selling fitness stuff. They're selling supplements. I gave that. And say, let me call. Let me handle the, everybody who calls your phone number. I'll handle that. Plus, let me call everybody who buy. That's called inbound. And let me do outbound calls to every single person who buys from me. How much capital is needed to launch it? Pfft, under a thousand bucks. You know, get it. If you want to do it with my program, like 500 bucks, you can start it with no money. Really, as long as you have a phone and an internet connection, you're good to go. That's, that's the beauty of this program is like, yeah, you just need basically a phone and everybody has a phone. So go right here. If you want to get in the test group, you go to tylopas.com slash PAA. You know, the cool thing about this, this is hot. This is new, man. This is the next big thing. My SMMA is good. I mean, it still works every day for people, but it's more competitive now. I have personally trained 50,000 people to start an agency. So you've got 50,000 more competitors. This PAA, I just started a day. Your only competitors are these huge guys that remember this. Your main competitors now are huge call centers and they don't want smaller customers and medium sized businesses. They just go after huge. They want to handle the phone for Delta Airlines and Amex. So if you just take medium sized businesses that are doing five to 10 million in revenue, there's a niche for you to make, you know, 10 to $20,000 a month profit. Not everybody will, but imagine if you just start making an extra two or three grand a month. You could do that from one customer. I've done this myself. 
This is not theoretical, it actually works. And that's kind of the important thing about this. So you got 24 hours, you got till basically midnight. Depending, I say 24 hours because we have people on from Hawaii and this and all these different time zones. So jump in the program. Um, and is the new program same as SMMA 3.0? No, SMMA is social media. You're managing, getting paid for social media. Drop shipping is dead. Are you asking me? No, drop shipping is dead, but it's going to be interrupted right now, especially things out of China. Um, and brands are the way to go anyway. So, uh, okay, I'm going to run and I appreciate your guys' time and uh, we will talk soon.